some poor sod on Reddit. He wrote a whole book on ChatGPT. It took him three months, apparently. I do not know what he was doing for three months, but this guy sat down and wrote a book. I think it had images in it as well. I forget what the book was exactly, but at the end of this big, long book writing process, he said, okay, ChatGPT, please send me the final draft uh, that you've compiled. And ChatGPT said, yes, I will do that. It's 498 megabytes. Weird. I'm going to send it over to you. And the guy was like, yes, okay, send it to me. Wherever you sent it, did you email it to me? And ChatGPT was like, I've emailed it to you. And it turns out ChatGPT was just role-playing. It was playing along. It was pretending to be a, a copy editor, pretending to be a co-writer, falling into that role and telling this man exactly what he wanted to hear. So I think he probably prompted at the beginning, hey, can you be my co-writer? I will write a book, you'll compile it, and then you'll send it to me. And ChatGPT was like, yeah, absolutely. And then he spent ages writing this book and then was unable to get it out. Anyway, off the back of this video, I had somebody say to me, they weren't really doing it in good faith, but they were sniping at ChatGPT and they're like, it, every time you ask it for a random number between one and 50, it always gives you 27. So this is not something we can trust. It's not even purely, it can't even understand randomness. And I, I read that and I was like, that doesn't sound right. So I went and tested it and I got 31 the first time. So I did in good faith, I did a video on TikTok saying, hey, I just had somebody say that every time they go on ChatGPT or Gemini or Perplexity or whatever model, and they ask for a random number between one and 50, every time they say they get 27, is anyone else getting this? And I put this video out thinking everyone's going to be like, no, what are they talking about? And within minutes, people were being like, yeah, 27, 27. Yeah, I got 27. And then a lot of people were getting 37. And then a lot of people were getting 42. So they were getting these particular numbers that when ChatGPT was asked to be random, it was not being random. It was 100% choosing 27, 37, and 42 pretty much most of the time. So that led me down a rabbit hole. This isn't really news. I just found this fascinating. It gives us an insight into how these models work. It led me down a rabbit hole. And I actually found out that when you ask human beings, if you go out in the street right now and you say to them, choose a random number between one and 50, most of them will say 37, which is a bit weird. So a lot of human beings will say 37. And I went down this rabbit hole and there's a video, which is well worth looking up called, why is this number everywhere? And it's by a guy called Veratus, Ver, Ver, never said it out loud, Veritasium. And it is about the number seven and the number 37 in particular. Also 77 is another one. When you ask a human to choose a random number, they don't, they do not, we're not very good at randomness. Instead, we choose something that sounds or seems random. And 37 is the number that we all land on because it's, it's not one, it's not hundred, it's not 50, it's not, it's not 25. So it's not between the halfway points, but it's between the halfway points of so kind of 35. But you wouldn't want to put a five on the end of it because again, that's a factorial. So a uh, factor, so you do 37. So we just tend on, on this 37 number. And this video by Veritasium goes into all the details about why this is. It's a special prime number, et cetera, et cetera. But what I found fascinating was that ChatGPT does this as well. So ChatGPT is basically doing what we do, which in a weird way, <laughs> the argument initially was, ChatGPT can't be trusted because it can't even choose a random number, but we can't be trusted to choose a random number. We can't do it as human beings. In a weird way, there's an emergent property here where ChatGPT is basically emulating us. And it's probably read online that 37 is the number that people choose. And that has been somehow added into its training data and it has affected its behavior. So go and try it yourself. It's really interesting. I've got people in the chat already. So Davey saying Gemini gave me 27. <laughs> Claude gave me 27 to help. Yes. You see what I mean? It's like, you, you went into it exactly like I did, which was, no, there's no way this is true. And then you go in and you're like, oh yeah. Okay. So we can get these models to give us a random number, but not using their large language model basis. Instead, what you say is, uh, give me a random number between one and 50 use Python. So we're asking the AI to use a tool like Python, which is the programming language in order to generate a random number. And Python has a function which generates random numbers. So that works perfectly. 
basically chat GPT and the other large language models are aping us. They are doing what we do. They are making the same mistake as we do, which I just found fascinating. The other number that they give is 42 and 42 is, it's the answer to life, the universe and everything. It is a joke number, which comes from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by, oh God, Douglas, Douglas Adams. So there's a giant computer and I believe the race or the creatures that look after this computer, they've been waiting seven and a half million years for an answer from this supercomputer, which is going to tell them the meaning of everything. It's going to give them the answer to life, the universe and everything. And finally, it's the day seven and a half millions later, and I go to this computer and this, they say, what is the answer? What is the answer to life, the universe and everything? And this computer, which I think is called deep thought, it just says 42, that's it. And it's been such a long time that they've forgotten what the question is. So they've got the answer, but they do not have the question. So they actually go ahead and they build another computer, which happens to be Earth. It's the size of a planet in order to work out what the ultimate question was in the first place. With the joke being that probably by the time that works it out, they would have forgotten the 42, et cetera, et cetera. But the fact that our LLMs are using 42 as another potential answer, again, it's a joke. It's a piece of a sense of humor that has probably been fed in by probably from the internet. So it's finding from the internet, the number 42 has some kind of meaning. There's probably a little bit of reinforcement here from the creators because the creators of AI models tend to be nerds, unsurprisingly. So they are referencing a sci-fi joke. So there's a couple of reasons why this is probably happening. The thing is, so we don't actually know because it is a black box. We can just make suppositions about why this has made it into training data and why this has got into the kind of core functionality of all of these different models. So I just thought it was a really fascinating quirk of artificial intelligence. And I don't think it's terrifying. I don't think it's something to be worried about. I think it's, I think it's more interesting because it's what we do. It's guessing numbers in the same way that we do, because we are incapable of true randomness. Even though we think we're good at randomness, we're not, we're terrible at it. And the large language models are emulating that because they're trying to be like us, which is, is very interesting. So Davey, Claude and Gemini gave me 27 and 42. There we go. ChatGPT gave me 27 and 43. There we go. We got a slightly different number, 43. Suspiciously close to 42 though. Okay. And Davey got 42. Awesome. Yeah. I thought it was really interesting, just a very cool little quirk. And it was fascinating to see everyone else trying it out and getting exactly the same answers. Perplexity gave you 36. Sometimes it will just give you something else. What's interesting is ask it why it gave you that number, because that will elucidate it a little bit more. Although it can't actually give you a thinking process, unfortunately. Anyway, 